Lamborghini knew the Urus was going to sell in big numbers, but they probably had no idea that it would become so popular. The Italian exotic car maker's bet to launch it back in 2017 has turned out to be successful, as this model has more than doubled their annual sales. Completely unrelated to its iconic forefather, the LM002, which was a V12-powered truck, the Lamborghini Urus uses the same construction as other large crossovers made by the Volkswagen Group. Thus, it shares its nuts and bolts with everything from the Touareg to the Porsche Cayenne and Bentley Bentayga and is the most exotic member of the family. It used to be available in a single configuration, yet last year's mid-cycle refresh has expanded the family to two members, the S and Performante. The former is the direct successor to the pre-facelift iteration, and the latter is a more track-focused version that is lighter and more aerodynamic. Power is supplied by the same 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8, which develops an identical 666 PS, 657 horsepower per 490 kilowatts, in both. But Lamborghini is all about the future now, and that means electrified vehicles that pave the road toward an inevitable zero-emission lineup. The Revuelto, which replaced the mighty Aventador, features a partially electrified assembly, and the Huracan's replacement will follow a similar recipe, albeit with a smaller engine and lesser output. The Urus is also in line with this strategy, as the company is preparing a plug-in hybrid derivative. Its name is unknown, but you can find all kinds of information about it just by searching Urus PHEV online. Some say it will be the sole survivor of the Urus family, with the S and Performante supposedly going away at the end of 2024. Still, we take this rumor with a pinch of salt until the automaker confirms it, yet on a related note, we wouldn't act surprised if it turns out to be correct. After all, Lamborghini's future is all electric. Prototypes of the Urus PHEV have been spotted in the open for quite some time. This model will feature a few visual updates over the rest of the range and is understood to pack a punchier version of the powertrain used by the Porsche Cayenne Turbo SE Hybrid. Word on the street is that it will enjoy over 700 horsepower, though we will find out if that's the case when it debuts sometime next year. In the meantime, Lamborghini's Urus PHEV has become the subject of a few renderings. Signed by Car Review Channel on YouTube, they are on the unrealistic side of things as they imagine it with a rather futuristic makeover. Nevertheless, the model is still recognizable as an Urus, and it's certainly not bad. You can check it out in our image gallery above, and feel free to drop a line below and tell us what you think of it after.